Hey, what's up guys? Brandon here, Mitten Made Properties. We have your Livingston County, November 2020 real estate market update. Let's jump right into this thing. We always preface with three things over the last five years. We've been doing these videos, giving them to you every single month. That way you can make the best decision for you and your family. So let's jump right into this. Three years of data. We want three years of data because we want to see the trend. The trend is your friend. Remember, if we're just seeing one year of data, it won't make any sense, right? It's not going to make any sense if we just have one year. So we need two or three years of data so we see the trend and the pattern. And then we have the month in arrears, November, because the data is hot off the press now. It's finalized, we got it, we're good to go. So let's jump right into this. We have days on market, average days on market here, 47 days two years ago, 59 last year, and then down to 41 this year. So we're seeing a big drop off, obviously, in the days on market, which is it's really huge. Big thing, good thing for sellers, obviously, because we're gonna see here in a minute in greater detail. Active number of homes in the market. And this is, is a one day sample size. So when the data was taken, how many homes were active on that given day. 798 two years ago, 789 last year, pretty consistent, and then 383 this past year in November. So just absolutely insane what's going on here, obviously with the, the market stats, and, and you have to follow these things. You gotta follow the trends in order to make decisions predictably and confidently. Uh, months of inventory, MOI is that what it stands for is a quick ratio. So that way you don't necessarily have to go through all of this, but it's a quick ratio to know what kind of market we're in. And at the rate homes are selling, how long would it take to sell every last home with no new homes coming on the market? Four home or four months of inventory two years ago, three and a half last year, and then down to one and a half this year. So obviously hemorrhaging homes don't have a ton of homes in the market. One to three months is a seller's market, just for context. Four to six is a balanced market, and then seven plus is a buyer's market, meaning there are tons of homes in the market and prices have come down. So as we can see here, we are in a very heavy seller's market, and it's really like that across the board here in Metro Detroit. We're seeing a lot of parts of the country too, quite frankly. New homes in the market, this is a month-wide number. So how many homes actually came on the market during the entire month? 277 last, or two years ago, 253 last year, and 250 this year. So a little bit down, we're seeing this across the board as well, a little bit down going forward. So I expect these numbers to be a little lower going forward as well uh, in the coming months. So uh, it's price per square foot, it's 145 a square foot two years ago, 151 last year, and 163 this year. So if you multiply that by your square footage, you're gonna approximately get the value of your home. And you know, if you need a true appraisal done in your home and you actually get an actual value, you gotta have an appraiser or someone on our team, a professional come and actually see your home. I mean, remember, because this is a county-wide number. This is not your neighborhood, your subdivision or something like that, or your comparable uh, homes that are being looked at. This is just a county-wide number. More, more importantly here is to see is the trend. Obviously, we're gonna have good equity growth in this trend, and that's what we wanna look at here. And then sold. Sold is the number of people actually closing on a home, actually, sitting down at a, at, a, at a table and purchasing home, signing on a home. 206 two years ago, 230 last year, and 268 this year. So we're seeing this across the board too, uh, an uptick here with the glut of homes really kind of starting to finally go through and, and we're starting to kind of finally sell all the remaining homes that have been flooded on the market over the last three to five months because of the uh, holdup earlier in the spring in the summer. So that's your Livingston Market Update, guys, for November 2020. I appreciate you guys, your time, your energy, your attention. Our mind and our time, they are the greatest assets we have. So spending our time to feed our mind. It's the only thing we can do. So I appreciate you guys sticking around with us. If you're on the podcast, go to at Legacy Group MI, at Legacy Group MI. Go there. That's our Facebook and YouTube channel. Go check it out. Questions, comments, concerns. We'll answer them there. We look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.